Sorting a list makes it more accessible, makes it easier to find data. But you still have to search through all the data to find the specific records that you're looking for. For example, I'm looking at buyers 2015 and I've just sorted it by month. But you know what? I want to find the July records. So I still have to scroll through all the other records that I don't necessarily need to be able to find the July records. There they are. So not that it took a lot of time to do, but in a lot of cases, I don't just want to present the data to make it easier to search. I actually just want it to display specific records. I only want to see the July records, and that's it. Nothing else. I don't need January, February, March, April, May, June, or August, or September, you know, and so on. I just need July records. So we're going to talk about filtering a list. Take a look. And this is super simple. Microsoft gave us a tool called an auto filter that really does all the work for us. All we need to do is identify to Excel what we're looking for. Watch this. So I'm going to click into my list. Doesn't matter where. I'm going to go back to my data tab, back to sort and filter, and I'm going to go to the big filter button. I'll give that a click. This, it doesn't open up an additional window like the sort button did, but this changes in a property of my list. You can see up in my column headers now, A1 through E1, month, year, cost, items, and buyer, I've now got these little drop down arrows that show up next to each column header. Remember how important those column headers are? This is one of the reasons. So now I say, you know what? I've got my filter on, the little drop downs. I want to filter for July records. That's all I want to see. So I'll find the month. I'll find the little drop down, attach the month, give that a click, just a left click. And I've got several things going on in here. I can sort, I can provide text filters, like if it's equal to something or begins with something or contains specific characters. Or I could drop down to my search filters and say, you know what? Let's make this a little bit bigger here. I don't want to see everybody, so I'm going to deselect all, and I'm going to select July, because that's all I need, just the July records. I'll hit OK, and that's it. Bingo, it's that quick. Go to the little drop down, select what you need, hit OK. You've now got the July records, and that's all I get. Now it's uber, super easy, to be able to find those specific records. Oh, now, now I'm thinking, you know what? July is great, but I also want August. Let's get August into the mix as well. So I'll go back up to the little drop down. You'll notice that it now has a little funnel icon on it, just denoting that I have filtered by this column. I'll go up there and I'm going to go find August. There's August. I'll hit OK. And I've now filtered my list for both July and August. Great. Ooh, let's take this a step further. I'm really enjoying this because of how quick it is. I mean, you hit a couple of buttons and your list is now changed to show you just those specific records. Now I'm looking at July and August, but you know what? This is for all buyers. I don't want to see all buyers, so I'll go up to the little drop down and say, you know what? Not everybody. Let's get rid of that. I want to see Gonzalez and I want to see Smith. Just those two people. I'll hit OK, and now I've got just the July and, rec July and August records for those two buyers. Quick, quick, quick. So let me clear the filter, and let me get back to square one once again. Uh, what I can do really simply is I can go up to my data tab. Inside the sort and filter area, I can hit the clear button. This will take me back to square one once again, all of my records. So try this out. Jump over to Buyers 2015 or maybe back to Employee Records that we worked with first and try filtering for specific values, specific records, whether it's by month, cost, the buyer. If you're on the Employee Records worksheet, maybe I'm going to filter for departments or locations or a certain time frame when people were hired. Whatever it is, just click into the list, doesn't matter where, go up to your Data tab, turn on the Filter button. You now have the little drop down where you can start filtering for specific records. Try it out.